Marum is a research network for marine research in Bremen. It initiates major projects and provides the necessary technological infrastructure. We are developing underwater technology in cooperation with independent companies. And we are also a positive asset for the overall image of the University of Bremen. A special distinction of the research centre is that we cover very many scientific fields. We are working in an interdisciplinary manner with geophysicists, paleontologists, geochemists and microbiologists. This is only possible to such a large extent at a major research centre. Actually, I have been involved with the research centre right from the start. I contributed to the proposal and was actively involved in the development of the institute. And I am very proud of how the research centre has developed over the years. What I like about my work at the research centre is that we can merge the information provided by different work groups into an overall picture. What is special about the research centre is that it is large enough to effectively and efficiently participate in international cooperative projects. The centre has excellent analysis and research technologies at its disposal, which are considered to be among the best in the world. An example is the remotely operated vehicle Quest, which can dive to a depth of 4,000 meters. On an international level, there are maybe seven or eight institutes that possess such a vehicle. Our work in marine technology is characterized by a strong connection between development and implementation. We cooperate directly with the scientists in order to develop marine technological devices. A practical example of my field of work is the MEBO, a drill rig that is deployed on the sea floor. Where a lot of components work together and all have to function properly. When we performed the first test at a depth of 1,700 meters, everything worked. That was just great. <laughs> We concern ourselves with the role of the ocean in the global Earth system. That includes climate issues, biogeochemical and sedimentological processes, and particularly the consequences of human impact on the ocean. For us, as marine scientists, this means that we set out on the oceans with research vessels and carry out active field studies on the sea floor. The ocean is a large heat reservoir. As a large realm for carbon storage, it plays an important role in long-term climatic changes, which means on a time scale from several up to millions of years. We need concrete predictions for the future, particularly with regard to changes in coastal areas due to the impacts of climate change. A practical example from our field of work is siltation of tidally affected estuaries. The Weser estuary, which is heavily used as a navigation route, has been upgraded several times. Sediment relocation is common in such estuaries, and this influences navigation by reducing the water depth. We provide options that can help to avoid such siltation or to remove it at low cost.
The Excellence Initiative der Bundes The initiative of excellence introduced by the German federal government has led to a new way of thinking. We have benefited as well because we initiated a long-term plan especially focused on improving the education for postgraduates. The interdisciplinary approach in the graduate school Glomar is really exciting. Not only do we have natural scientists here, but the humanities are also represented by sociologists and jurists. This of course broadens one's own field of interest immensely, because new scientific fields are introduced and you really learn a great deal more. Our aim is to investigate processes on the sea floor that are not yet understood and we virtually find something new on every expedition. My wish for the future is that this research centre and marine geosciences in Bremen will achieve a firm position and that the excellent international reputation we have gained so far will be further strengthened. It is important to cooperate with industry, which ensures that our research issues remain up to date. It is also important that our education processes enable students to find a job in the field of marine geotechnology. We need motivated and dedicated employees who are curious, who are inventive and who strive to work at the forefront of science.